Hey, what is up everybody? I am here with my good friend, Chino. Chino prepared some awesome fire noodles and some mm -hmm. awesome lunch for us. We are just gonna relax and talk. If you guys have ever seen like Wong Fu Productions and all the videos they make, they're like a big inspiration to me. One thing they do is like Wong Fu lunch break. So I don't know, this is kind of a, a low budget rip off <laughs> of that. So Chino, I'll let you kind of introduce yourself. Sure, hi, I'm Chino. Um, yeah. When did Thanks. we, wait, okay, tell them, tell them. Tell them how long we've known each other. A long time. Yeah, like way Since back in like high school. Was, no, high school. Yeah, high, high school. school. Mm -hmm. High school. I've known Chino for a long time, so. Yeah. Um, she's a really good friend, awesome person too. So we're just gonna relax, eat some lunch, <laughs> and talk about can guys and girls be friends? And the dreaded friends. Oh my gosh. It yeah. is hot. Oh mm -hmm. man, I don't know if we can talk. I'm, oh man, <laughs> I need this water. All right, let's talk about today's topic. So. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that the friend zone exists as a girl? Yeah, I'll start with that. Does it exist for you? Like, do you friend the zone friend guys? Zone? Yeah. Yeah, it does exist. It does exist? Okay, there you go. I mean, <laughs> That's what we're on here. And if you're gonna to be very technical, I have guys that are friends. So yeah, yeah friend like, zone. like just friends, like you don't see them in a romantic way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's just to clarify if you guys don't know what the friend zone is. Is so, my face red yet? No, but mine's always red. So now it's even more red. You know what though? Like if I could be anything in this world and not have to worry about money, I'll just be a mukbang person. Mm -hmm. Just eat food. Mm -hmm. Just eat food for a living. How's the food I cook? Really good. It's super good though. Really good. I'm sweating already. I know, me too. <laughs> this is a bad idea. So what makes you like distinguish or like throw a guy into a friend zone? Cause guys are wondering this. All guys, if you're watching, are curious. What makes, yeah. how do they get I'm thrown scared. into the pit that it is the friend zone? Well, honestly, I feel like girls just want to be friends and then things sort of just happen. Mm -hmm. One thing that I've kind of learned growing up is it's okay to be friends with a girl. Like, don't be afraid of being friends with a girl, but do be afraid of being thrown in the friend zone. And there's different ways, depending on different girls, how you get thrown in there. But don't be afraid to be friends with a girl. I, that wasn't always me. Like, way back, like, I'd be like, oh, no, I don't want to be friends with her. I don't want to go in the friend zone because you think as soon as you're a friend with her, you're in the friend zone. Yeah, I feel like- <laughs> <laughs> How are you it's, doing? It's, it's so spicy, oh my yeah, gosh. It is. Like I know some guys that are like friends with the girl and like they're there for them all the time. Mm -hmm. And the girl basically just, to put it quite frankly, she just uses them. So yeah. if you realize like it's a one-sided friendship, probably not get good. Out of there. Yeah, get yeah. out of there, so. I think I recently came to terms with having platonic mm -hmm. relationships. Yep. And that like not everything has to be like love and like romance. Yes, listen guys, if you have to tell a girl that you like her and she doesn't already know and you guys aren't already like kicking it off, you're it's a lost cause like you yeah. should not have to convince a girl to try and give you a chance if she wants to like from you guys being friends she'll give it to you there could also be that honest conversation yes like, that, like hey i just want to be friends before that conversation because some girls aren't honest like that they'll just keep you stringing on but then like those guys there's always that little i know there's always that little sliver of hope and they're like you know what i'm just gonna tell her how i feel even though they probably know that she doesn't feel the same way it's just that sliver of hope that when they do confess or say like hey i really like you more than a friend if there's that little chance that they're hoping in their head that she just says she feels the same way back, but 98% mm -hmm. of the time, if you have to confess that you like someone, it's probably not gonna work out. So coming from a girl, I feel like for a long time, I didn't realize that like, I liked the attention, but I didn't realize that I was hurting the guys. Yeah, and that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Like attention is nice, but it's just like, like you said, you don't know. Mm -hmm. like, some guys are more sensitive. Some guys take things more right. personally. So it's like completely dependent on the person. There's a lot of guys out there that think they're really nice guys. Just because you're nice to a girl does not mean she owes you the time of day. Yes. Like she, they do, they do not owe you anything just because you're nice, mm -hmm. quote unquote nice. And when you expect something just because you're a nice guy, you're not, you're really not. Nice. That's actually the first thing I thought about when you told me the topic. Yeah, exactly. Nice guys. Sorry, I don't think this is <laughs> It's too hot. Yeah. It's fine, just eat this. Just eat your uh, zucchini. Oh my gosh. I still have this much left. <laughs> it's hot but honestly though like it goes the other way too like just because a girl likes another guy he's not obligated to give her time of day too and, and that doesn't make him a douchebag like maybe he's just not interested or maybe he's just mm -hmm. not looking yeah so all right let me ask you something so has there been an instance you liked a guy but he didn't like you back like you you knew like oh this this guy threw me in the friend zone i think because of like the social norms of like and the, the gender norms of mm -hmm. like that girls don't ask Mm -hmm. or don't confess and like the guys do i never necessarily like confess to someone and then like right. be turned down so Must i guess be nice <laughs> i find that most of the time like if a guy knows that a girl likes him and he doesn't want to pursue it the girl won't confess she'll just like move on 
Yeah. Like she was no. just whole, she was bottling like and yes. move on. Have you ever friends only? Anyone or girls? We'll see. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> slow down a little bit. If if you're no okay yeah yeah no yeah yeah. So like um if you guys know me like I've been single for like long time. I'm not gonna lie to you and say like no girls have taken interest in me. So it's like I'm just trying to figure out what I want because and who I want to be because I can't really offer myself to someone if I don't even know who that is. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, like I tell like, whoever, I would say like, you deserve someone that's gonna be able to be there for you 100% of the time, I can't be there. And I mean, that's okay. I feel like everyone always is just so ready to jump into it. Yeah, Or into a I relationship agree. because like, they're wanting that so bad. Right. But yeah, it, it never hurts to work on yourself. Yeah, and I think, a lot of a lot of people nowadays that I see, like I, a lot of the younger people, are so in love with this idea of falling in love that they'll take anyone, even if it's not the right person. Yeah. They have like hard eyes. Like they don't see anything else but yeah. hard eyes because they're in love with this idea of love. And it's like I saw this one thing on Facebook that someone shared. It's like some people are so like they don't know how to be alone. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of one thing that solo traveling taught me is how to be alone. Mm -hmm. Some people just need to learn how to be alone, but. The ones that can't, they just literally take whoever shows them affection and just try to make them fit into their lives. I feel like we all just want to fill that void mm -hmm. with an easy fix. Right, and then, yeah. Which means to jump into a relationship right. and with, with those hard eyes. Oh yeah, no, yeah, definitely. So... Like, I completely agree. Mm -hmm. And like society does this. We idolize this idea of love. It's becoming a little toxic to like the younger adults. but. I mean, love's not a bad thing. I think it's what we do best as humans. Yeah, I agree. Just, it is what we do best as I, humans. Yeah, like but... it really is. It's, you got to be in the right mindset and do it for the right reason, not just because you're alone. I think that's the worst reason, to be honest. Yeah. Because you're alone. Oh, I got a good one. Mm -hmm. So all guys probably want to know this. How is it possible to get out of the friend zone and how? Like, I know you said sometimes you just throw guys into the dreaded friend zone and like forget about them. But like, what if like, like, how do they get out? Is it possible to get out? I feel like anything is possible. Right. So, okay. so getting out of the friend zone is possible too, I guess. Okay. Yeah. You guys heard it here first. <laughs> like say for instance, like a guy, like you weren't really attracted to him physically or like his personality. And then he just shows up ripped bod and super good guy, successful. You'd give him a chance again, right? I'm just kidding. Well, no, it's if like... you say it that way, you make me sound so No, shallow. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, thanks guys for tuning in. So um, I didn't know that my camera had a 30 minute <laughs> recording limit, so it cut off some of our conversation. Okay. Thanks again, Chena, for prepping lunch and having mm -hmm. us over. Let us know what you guys think about what we talked about today in the comments. <laughs> if you agree, if you disagree, let us know what you guys think. Other than that, thanks, Chena. Yeah. Thanks, thanks guys. Yeah, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.